Before any trip, it seems like one of the things I'm thinking about the most is not really the flight or the logistics or where we're staying, but actually what shoes I'm gonna take with me and which ones I'm gonna leave at home. In this video, I'm gonna share some tips on how to select the best shoes for your trip, no matter the season, and show you some exact ones I'm taking on an upcoming trip to Europe. Hey guys, it's Allie from Away Together. My husband Nick and I have gotten to travel a lot and we tend to pack pretty light, which means making decisions on what shoes to bring, pretty difficult. Now, recently Nick made a packing video where he made the comment that you should bring one good pair of shoes. And I think that works for him, but not for someone like me who wants options and wants to look cute. So I wanted to make this video to cover some key considerations for choosing the right shoes for travel, how many pairs to pack, and to show you guys what I'm taking on an upcoming trip. Here are the key considerations that I go through when picking any shoes that I wanna pack for my trip. Versatility, comfort, style, and packability. So in terms of versatility, you want shoes you pick to be able to go with a variety of outfits and occasions. This is more of a general packing tip, but you wanna avoid things that are single use. So pick neutral colors like black, brown, or white, and also consider whether sh the shoes are suitable for both casual and dressier occasions. It can be hard to think about versatility, particularly when you're planning a specific type of trip. For example, if you're on a trip that's gonna have a lot of hikes planned, you might consider hiking boots, which would be single use. So ultimately, you need to make some decisions based on the specific type of trip you make, but generally, the more you can use the shoes you pack, the better. Typically, when we travel, we walk a ton. It's not uncommon for Nick and I to walk 10 to 15 miles per day when we're traveling. Not hiking, but just strictly walking. So the last thing I wanna be dealing with while trying to explore a new and amazing place is for my feet to be hurting or to have blisters. So comfort is a pretty obvious consideration. Finding shoes that you'll feel comfortable in, that have the right shape for your foot and have good support are all very important. But comfort, can be taken to an extreme. You don't wanna stick out like a sore thumb, so you also wanna consider style as well. I tend to think about style in two different ways. First is the trend of the shoe, and then the second is the actual type of shoe. So in terms of trends, I typically like to do a little bit of research on the destination that I'm headed to see what's trending in that particular country. It's not that I necessarily want to blend in, it's more that I don't want to make a massive fashion faux pas if I can help it. And then in terms of the type of shoe that I bring to a particular destination, I really rely on doing research on the type of weather that we could expect. So for example, if it's hot at home, but the destination I'm headed to is really cold, I'm probably not gonna bring a pair of flip-flops. If I find out that it's probably gonna rain a lot in the destination we're headed, I'll probably choose to bring a shoe that's waterproof or at least water resistant. So style really is twofold. It's the trend and also the functionality or type of shoe that I'm bringing. So packability is probably the variable that is the most difficult. You wanna focus on shoes that pack down really small. And as ladies, we've probably got a benefit working in our favor as our shoes take up less space than men's shoes. So for me, if I've got two great pairs of shoes that I love that are versatile, comfortable, and stylish, and I'm trying to pick which one I'm gonna pack, I'll likely choose the pair that take up less space. And a tip, especially if you're packing carry-on only, is wear your biggest pair of shoes on the plane to help save space in your bag. And hey, if you're getting value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up so YouTube will suggest it to other travelers like you. Now begs the question, how many pairs I should bring? I almost always travel with two to three pairs of shoes, even in a carry-on only, and each of them plays a specific role in my travel wardrobe. If I travel with three pairs, I would say that two are super functional and one is more aesthetic. I'll break down my choices for each and then give you some season specific information that will impact the decisions you make. No matter the season, I always bring a pair of white tennis shoes or sneakers. I wanna caveat that these are not running shoes. 
Running shoes are really popular in America, but in other places in the world, they're not nearly as common to wear outside for any other reason than running. These are more like comfortable street style sneakers that are really good for walking. These will be my daily drivers and the ones that I wear on the plane. And I typically wanna make sure that these are broken in before my trip. During warmer times of the year, the next option I reach for is a good pair of walking sandals. I love Birkenstocks. They mold to your foot, they're super comfortable to walk in all day, they have a lot of style options. And then my third pair, if I take it, is typically what I consider an aesthetic pair. It'll usually be a nicer pair of sandals that I could wear with a dressier outfit for dinner. During colder times of the year, I'll still keep my comfortable white street sneakers, but I'll trade my functional sandal for something more like an ankle boot, like a Chelsea style boot, something that can offer some water resistance, but would still look good with jeans or leggings. And then instead of the aesthetic sandal, I'll bring a nicer pair of like closed toed flats or loafers, which can be packed really small and compact. Okay, now it's time to show you what I'm bringing to an upcoming trip to Austria. This is not sponsored. These are shoes that I personally bought and that I like. I'll link all of them below, so if you wanna try them out, you can. We'll mostly be in the city, so I don't really need any kind of hiker or anything like that, and it's gonna be on the warmer side. We will be doing lots of walking though, and so for my street style sneaker, I am taking these really cool sneakers by On. These are the Roger Clubhouse. They're kind of like a tennis inspired sneaker. They're very lightweight, lots of cushioning, and they're kind of nostalgic looking and I really like them. There's some really cool funky colors that you can get, but I went with white so that they'd be neutral and match a lot of items. Next, for my functional walking sandal, I'm gonna be taking these Birkenstocks. These are the Giza Big Buckle and Cognac. It's a thong style sandal, and if you've ever worn Birkenstocks, you'll know this when I say they are so comfortable. The contour footbed molds to your foot over time, which helps with great arch support and comfort. They have a timeless look, and Birks are made with really high quality materials, so you know that they'll last a long time. I'm also a fan of the Miyari style sandal by Birkenstock. Um, this is actually the style that I took on our six month sabbatical, so I'll link that style below as well. Finally, for my more aesthetic or dressier shoe option, I've got these black leather three step sandals by Steve Madden. I like the leather construction, the gold hardware adds a really nice touch, and you can dress these up or down depending on the situation. And honestly, they are still very comfortable, so I could walk a few miles to dinner and back and I'm not gonna have any issues. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching and happy travels.